Hello everyone, and welcome to uh, The Fallen Sage, episode 14, where unfortunately I'm also sick, so I probably sound really stuffy. I think I do sound really stuffy actually. Um, oh yeah, okay. So, I haven't played this in a couple of days, so I don't really remember where I'm at. Um, that's alright. I can't remember now. Nice! That was great, actually. That was pretty fantastic. Alright, so we should be able to kill these guys. I, I upped the volume a little bit on the recording. Um, hopefully it's not too loud now. Because I was listening to some of the other like episodes and I was like, this is really quiet. You know, it's sealed shut. And one needs a key and the other is sealed shut. I don't have the key yet. No, I don't. Okay. <coughs> I have a steel up. This. Oh yeah, okay. I think I did all that last episode. I did like some equipping and stuff. So, this is not the right direction. That's what I'm guessing. Probably need to go down into this door down here to get the, to get the key. I'm apparently also hiccuping for some reason. So, but yeah, I again apologies. I'm gonna sniffle and I'm gonna sound stuffed up because I'm recording this while I'm sick. Yay! Fortunately, it was also really the only time to record. Oh great, I have another sore in my mouth. I actually have three sores in my mouth now. That's wonderful. There it goes. Statue of Pelagard. Okay. <coughs> that is not the way to go then. I... I'm a little lost as to where to go then. <laughs> I don't remember this dungeon very well. That's alright, we'll figure it out. Thought I was going the right way before, but I still need a thing apparently. Oh well, what can you do? Uh, green potion on Saria. The egg of the forest. <coughs> I'm also gonna be coughing. So there's that. <laughs> I remember recording last time I was sick too. That was only a few months ago, actually. That was back in September when I had to record while I was sick. I actually stopped recording because I was like, I don't want to like sound like this. <laughs> in the recording, but I ended up needing to. So, that was when I tried to get my friend into recording with me, but we recorded like three episodes and I was like, nah. Hello, Palgar Deku. Alright. I wonder if that's even useful against these guys. A couple of crits, that's nice. 1521. Actually, I was pretty decent. Yes, these guys don't have like um protection from like forest damage. So, but maybe it's because it deals three different types of damage. So, I don't know. I hopefully won't be uh, sick for too much longer. I'm hoping that this is only going to be for a few episodes. So, yay for being sick, right? <laughs> okay, it's a good thing that uh, Spybot lives up in the background today. 
I once had a recording where Spybot decided to load up right in the middle of the recording. Um, completely blocked the recording, but it did not. It loaded up in the background today, which is good. I can deal with it after this episode is over. Instead of having to completely restart the episode because of Spybot. I had that when... Oh my, I was recording uh, Pokemon. Um, I was recording, uh, uh, some of, uh, an episode of Pokemon Moon, and I was so glad that I save after every, like, instance, but I don't, like, save during a, during an episode, because that would have sucked really bad if I had not been able to, like, go back and re-record in the beginning. I think I mentioned that. That was the episode with like Lucimine for the first time. I was like, so I already saw this, but I'm just gonna pretend I didn't and you're gonna get my reaction here. The same way that I did before. So there's the thing. <laughs> so that sucked. I don't know why Hitsaria attacks. She doesn't deal damage with just normal attack. Oh well. Whatever. It worked out in the end. I don't like those Deku Pally guards, like, at all. So I need to stop and heal real fast. Okay. I should do it. Alright. Let's continue on here. Whoops. Edge of the map. Transference. <coughs> Fortunately, unfortunately, uh, Undying Nephilim doesn't seem to have known how to do uh, map edge transference without taking up that square of the map. So you can just like step right into it from the side. So that's all right. First of all, the the script that I use for like normal edge of the map transference, um, that is it, it's a script that comes in the uh, Project Zelda engine uh, kit. It's actually by Wachunga, if I remember right. And it's pretty nice. You just put it at the corner where you want it to transfer. And it like transfers you to the next map. So I didn't need to use that. Oh well. Or that. Oh well. But it's kinda nice. So if I ever do uh, my own game on here. Uh, one of my old. Okay. I think this was supposed to be a wall. But I guess he did not set the passability right there. <laughs> yeah, he used the wrong tile. Oops. Oh, well, that happens. That was a glitch. <laughs> I do know quite a bit about RPG Maker. Because again, I've been using RPG Maker, specifically XP, for years. So I know a lot about it, but not. I also don't know a lot about it. So. But I've been using it, like, since it came out, though, so there's that. So really, it is a really nice program, though. It works really well. You just have to, you know, program well yourself. <laughs> and doing stupid random encounters and battles that are on the map. I don't like. Give me one or the other. I prefer on map. I'd really not have these random encounters, thanks. Actually, in my debug script, I could go in and turn off the random encounters, 
but I won't get as much experience. I'm wondering if maybe that's the reason I had so much trouble the last time I played this. Because I had turned off the random encounters throughout the entire game. <coughs> I'm wondering if that's why I like wasn't strong enough and stuff. I was having a lot of issues. Because you were supposed to encounter some random encounters and I wasn't aware of that. I don't know. Probably. That's probably a major factor in it. So, hey, that works. Cool. Alright then. Um, I think really all we have to do is hit the switch and it creates a shortcut back. And then I have to go up and hit that chest to get the small key for the next area. So. But that's alright. We can do that here as soon as this battle's over. I wish I had a way of like cutting the battles. But that would require me to actually do like editing. And if there's one thing I found, it's that if I have to do the actual editing, I stop posting to YouTube because it's so obnoxiously boring. I just, I hate doing it. Also, sorry, I sound terrible. I know I sound terrible, I can hear myself in the microphone, or in my headset, or whatever you want to call it, however you want to word it. I can hear my own voice, and I'm like, I sound terrible. <laughs> Such is the joy of being sick, though, so hey, what can you do? I always, like, wonder, like, I've watched, like, Game Grumps, for example, and they're like, yeah, you know, like Danny, for example, will be sick. And they're like, I'm sick. And I'm like, you don't even, like, sound sick. <laughs> like this, it, like this is, you know, I sound sick, you know? Yes. Yeah, see, even the switch isn't built right. I couldn't step on it. How does monkey, yay. Alright, let's leave this area. Probably have another encounter. At least one more random encounter probably along the way. Which is obnoxious. Why not? That's... Really? Really? You really? You're, re you're serious about this? One step away? It had to appear one step away? What the heck? Seriously. I hate you so much. Also, I'm super hungry right now. I haven't been able to eat much today because I have the sores in my mouth. I have one that's right on the uh, like right on my chin. It's like on the inside of your mouth basically like in between like the lip and the teeth like as just as far down as it can possibly be. And then I have this one sore that's right on the side of my tongue. And moving my tongue actually hurts. So it's actually painful to <laughs> sit here and produce commentary because of that. But I love you guys. And I want you to have good episodes. So instead of just going silent for several episodes because I am having trouble talking, I am just going to keep talking <laughs> even though it hurts so yay for that how's that for you I could have waited a couple of days to record more to you film know, at least my mouth felt better I didn't need all that oh well I used all of the skills <laughs> like I could have waited a couple of days because I actually have enough um, to last me, well, I don't know when this is going up, but I had 13 episodes recorded already, and I think the second one up, just today, the day of recording this, um, so obviously this is, <coughs> what, 12 days later that you're hearing this, but I didn't know when I'd have another free day to record anything. Right now my schedule is all during the daytime, 
and so I have no nighttime shifts at the moment. So I don't have like any days that I can stop and record when I have like all day shift. And I was concerned <coughs> that I might not have the time. See, I didn't even need to do that. I might not have the time to get to recording more episodes of this before I run out. Because I don't know when my next night shift's going to be. So, I figured this is, you know, I work night tomorrow, actually. Um, but even though I work night tomorrow, I have to be up the next day, like straight early, bright and early in the morning. Don't need the key. Didn't I get small key? I did get small key. Door key. What the heck? Is that not door? What? That's not door. It's not the door. You know what? I'm angry. I'm gonna take it out on the stall post. <laughs> I'm angry that that was not the right door. So I'm gonna take it out on the stall post here. Go fast. And then we'll try to find another door. Because apparently somewhere there's another locked door. I don't know where. I'll find it. Don't worry. I will. But. Obviously I have to finish this fight first. But. But yeah. Like. I just. I don't know. I like recording videos. I like playing games. You know. This is something I would love to just do. Uh, I can't do the editing. I, I just can't. I can't do the editing. If I had an editor, that would be fantastic. But I don't expect an editor to just drop out of nowhere and just willing to work for free, you know? I mean, uh, heck, if you want to help with editing, go right ahead. Let me know in the comments below. But I just, I can't do the editing. If I do the editing, I get so bored of it that I just, I'm like, I can't do this anymore. Like, I will do two episodes and I'll just be done for that day. And so I won't, and then like, I won't want to do it the next day either. I'm just like, I'm so done with editing. And so then I'll like, go three days without editing a video. Except that of course I can only really go one day because of that. Uh, I think that is... <coughs> Mido. Nope. Yep. That's Mido. It's Bethel Guitars. Alright. Yay! Oh, Octorox! Octorox! Levers! PPP hats! Zelda! 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 Sorry. I just... Uh, I know I said it a couple of episodes back, but I just, I love that commercial. It's so ridiculous and it's so funny. That said, I think I'm going to go ahead and wind this episode down here. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying. And uh, next episode, we'll try to find, <coughs> I guess, the other key I need. Or a switch to open the other door, one of the two. Um, I may also go in and implement my health, uh, things, my, uh, plug and play bars, so, so I'm having trouble determining, like, where everybody is in health, because I don't see the health bars, so, alright, I'll see you guys next time then. See you later.